Hey everybody, it's uh, Moses Correa early in the morning here uh, on my way in to train uh, and I usually stop at Wawa in the morning, grab a coffee, uh, a water or two and kind of get prepped for my day if I need any items I'll grab them as well and uh, this morning I, I, as I was walking out I saw a lady uh, making coffee for herself and she poured so much uh, sugar into her coffee it was just ridiculous. It, it was like a never-ending stream of sugar uh, going down. And you don't get me wrong, I'm not one of those people that think that sugar is the devil. I, I think that everything should be used in moderation. Um, yet, it made me think about something, and that's why we want to talk about it. Today's the coach's desk, or in this case, the coach's car. Um, but uh, it made me think. It made me think that um we don't allow ourselves to adapt to something obviously she wanted a sweet tasting coffee because she didn't think coffee was good enough uh, speaking of that i'm gonna get some coffee here if you to talk to you a little bit she didn't think her coffee was good enough by itself or maybe she could have put less sugar in and it makes me think about adaptation right you know Adapting, learning to adapt to something really sucks. It it, it takes a lot of suffering sometimes uh, and difficulty, um, but the result is a better you. So, if she just decided, um, she was a little overweight, by the way. Not that I'm judging that, uh, but there are health effects with being obese. We know that. Um, if she had allowed herself to cut back on the sugar, it would taste nasty the coffee would at first so two things could happen she could quit coffee or if she felt like she needed it she would adjust to it and get used to it and maybe even begin to like the flavor because her taste buds would change they, they, they change about every seven days so but going through that process it's, it's it sucks right it's not fun doesn't taste great kind of discouraging right but then you get used to it so it's the same thing with a strength and conditioning program Right, you know, or a fitness program. You're, you know, you're trying to maybe run a faster mile, um, and it doesn't mean you're going to go out and completely destroy yourself because that's just stupid. That's that's not training. Uh, that's just you being an idiot and hoping that, and you, not you, but you in general, um, hoping that it's going to work. And usually, that's way too much stress for the body. Sometimes you get lucky. You're one of those people that adapt to a lot of high amounts of stress. You don't have a lot of stress in your life. Maybe your nutrition's on point. Um, so you can get lucky sometimes, but the rest of us who have stress, uh, who have problems and things besides just our training, uh, and don't want to overreach, um, we need to be systematic about it. Um, so with that, you can kind of do escalating density, run, uh, longer periods in that five minutes faster, start off slow and then work your way up. Uh, you could take 10 seconds off every week of the mile and just run the mile. I mean, there's a lot of systematic ways to do it and they help you really check what you're doing, give your body a chance to adapt to it and so on. And, and so that's the way to effective uh, fitness. I mean, if you're looking to bench press, um, sometimes just progressive overload uh, within reason, just putting more weight on the bar every so often is the way to go. But then also working partials and working on the parts of the movement that you're kind of not so good at um, is going to drive your numbers up. So, um, but during this process, it sucks. It sucks. It sucks. It, 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 it's not fun. Um, so you need to be goal minded and focus on what it is that you want to do um, from this training program, from this nutrition program, and then do it slowly. Give your chance, self, ch chance of self to adapt to it. Self a chance <laughs> uh, to adapt to it, and then move on to something else. You know. But that's the process that we all go through in seeking to become better. Uh, if your goal is to be leaner, if your goal is to be stronger, um, you're going to go through that process sometimes. And and you're going to have to do some things sometimes that don't seem related to. But that's a topic for another time. So let's just think about that today. So adapt. Allow yourself to adapt. Allow yourself to go through the process. Um, and, uh, you know, you'll become to like it eventually. So now... Go mind it just real quick. There was a research study um, done with people that were goal minded, 
and how they were able to endure and adhere to exercise better. So, uh, for example, if somebody was running, uh, if they were looking ahead, I just have to get to that stop sign. I just have to get to that street sign, whatever. Um, those people did better performance-wise in the actual run. But overall, so like micro and in macro overall, they adhered better to exercise because they were goal-minded. So be goal-minded and be disciplined. All right. So that was this coach's desk. And uh, I hope this helps. Share this with some friends and, and so on because this is some really good information that could change some lives. So I'll talk to you later.